subscribe channel for more updates bell icon click share now we are going to discuss uh, solar constant and uh, determination of solar constant first of all uh, we have to discuss uh, solar constant mm, solar constant is defined as the rate at which solar energy is received by a block surface per unit area per unit area placed per unit area placed normal to the sunrise at the mean distance of the earth from the sun in the absence of earth's atmosphere generally its value is 1340 watt per meter square <coughs> this is the solar constant first of all solar constant is defined as the rate solar constant is defined as the rate solar constant means rate which solar energy is received by a block surface that means uh, so this is the block surface this is the block surface this block surface this block surface received from sun rays received from sun rays that is the received from solar energy received from solar energy to the block surface to the block surface so solar constant is defined as the rate which solar energy is received by a block surface block surface received the solar energy per unit area placed normal to the sunrise placed normal to the sunrise at the mean distance of the earth from the sun in the absence of earth's atmosphere earth's atmosphere its value is Uh, 1340 watt per meter square this is the solar constant one second solar constant is defined as the rate solar constant means rate what is the rate solar energy rate solar constant is defined as the rate of solar energy is received by a block surface per unit area placed normal to the sun rays at the mean distance of the earth from sun in the absence of earth's atmosphere its value is 1340 watt per meter square generally generally the amount of solar radiation received by the surface so this is the um, this is the earth let us consider this is the earth this is the black body this is the black body this is the sun this is the sun the amount of solar radiation received by the surface received by the surface of the earth depends on the location depends on the location location means uh, um, so this location at uh, Mm, sea shore this location at uh, mm, river uh, river bay this location at uh, mountains this location at uh, mm, lower places so the solar radiation received by the surface these are surfaces these are surfaces the, mm, this is the surface of earth at mm, sea shore this this is the surface uh, of the earth at a river bay this is the surface of the uh, earth at uh, mountain places this is the surface of the earth at lower places at lower places these are all surfaces of earth so the solar radiation the solar radiation depends on the location of location of earth surfaces location of earth surfaces and also the time of the date the time of the date the time of the year the weather and the tilt to the surface to the sunrise that means the radiation of sun the solar radiation the radiation of sun means the solar radiation received by the surface depends upon the 
location of the earth and the time of the date the time of the year and the weather and the weather so the solar radiation changing with surfaces of earth and location of the earth the time of the date the time of the year and also the radiation changes with weather the radiation changes with weather so generally the solar radiation depends on these parameters so the solar constant is defined as the rate of solar energy this solar energy received the the surfaces of earth received the solar energy received the solar energy so the rate of solar energy is called as solar constant is called as solar constant but the solar and the solar energy received per unit area on the surface of the earth so the surface of the earth received the solar energy per unit area placed normal to the sunrise normal to the sunrise at the mean distance of the earth this is the earth the mean distance of the earth this is the mean distance of the earth this is also zenith distance it is the angular distance uh, so uh, normal to the sunrise at the mean distance of the earth from sun in the absence of earth atmosphere its value is 1340 watt per meter square watt per meter square so this solar constant determined by the angstrom's spherohelometer the instruments used for determination of solar constant the instruments what are instruments used for the determination of solar constant that are called pyrohelometers pyrohelometers so this is the pyrohelometer so the pyrohelometer consists of two identical black strips s1 and s2 are two identical black strips black strips because uh, the radiation uh, uh, received the received the black strips s1 and s2 one of which s1 is open s1 is open s1 is open uh, because uh, s1 is uh, received the solar rays and also solar radiation so s2 is protected by a shield h s2 is protected by a shield h the back surfaces of the these two strips the back surface of the these two strips are connected to the two junctions of the thermal couple two junctions of the thermal couple mm, two junctions of the thermal couple totally the circuit is connected to battery mm, and resistance and key a meter voltmeter galvanometer so these two these two strips are connected to the mm, two junctions of the thermal couple two junctions of the thermal couple so this is the thermal couple this is the thermal couple total this thermal couple is working by the key of the circuit so here first of all s2 is heated by the mean of an electrical circuit as shown in this diagram so here s2 s2 is the heated by the heated by the mean of an electrical circuit so Uh, then we have to given the uh, current uh, of the in the circuit so this uh, strip is the heated okay when x1 is exposed of the sun its temperature rises and consequently at the galvanometer shows so the radiation of sun the sun radiation and also the radiation of sun received s1 is the received the solar radiation solar radiation so s1 is exposed to the sun its temperature rises the consequently in the galvanometer shows deflection so the galvanometer uh, shows the deflection then this is the uh, temperature exposed this is uh, temperature is exposed no current is passed through the strip s2 the current is passed through the um, strip s2 so because 
this circuit is connected to S2 this is the battery ammeter voltmeter S2 mm, this is the battery key resistance and S2 so totally S2 is the connected to the circuit now the current is passed through the strip S2 until the deflection in the galvanometer until the deflection in the uh, deflection the galvanometer becomes zero becomes zero so under the conditions of the temperature of s1 and s2 are equal under the conditions the temperature of s1 and s2 are equal this is the thermal equilibrium this is the thermal equilibrium the rate uh, the rate at which s2 gains heat can be calculated from the current in the circuit in the potential difference applied so here first of all the rate at which the s2 gains heat can be first of all s1 is the heated from sun radiation s2 is the heated from electric circuit the rate at which s2 gains heat can be calculated from the current in the circuit and potential difference is applied potential difference is applied so the s2 the uh, the rate of uh, the rate of temperature s2 gains heat can be calculated from current in the circuit mm, one is the potential difference applied and another is the uh, ammeter so if s c is solar constant if s c is solar constant if s c is solar constant if a is if a is area of the cross section of strip area of the area of the cross section of the strip and a is the and a is the absorption coefficient the solar constant is defined as solar radiation here a is the absorption coefficient absorption coefficient absorption coefficient so here the solar constant is defined as so this is the solar constant a is the cross section of the strips and a is the absorption coefficient the now the solar constant is defined as solar radiation per unit per square centimeter solar constant is defined as solar radiation solar radiation per per minute per per minute minute per square centimeters square centimeter so the solar constant is can be written as solar constant can be written as s equals to v i 60 upon a a 4 minus 2 calorie centimeter square upon minute this is the solar constant so here v is the reading of the voltmeter v is the reading of the voltmeter that is the potential difference here i is the reading of ammeter reading of ammeter mm, here 60 is the uh, minutes uh, of second is the 60 here a is the cross sectional area, area of the two strips small a is the absorption coefficient this is the constant Uh, units are the calorie upon centimeter square upon minute this is the solar constant so the experimental is performed several times this experiment is performed several times on the same day at different uh, elevations of the sun the average value of s the average value of s is calculated over the year so the solar uh, first of all the solar constant uh, mm, is determined uh, several times on the same day at different elevations of the sun so this experiment every day calculated over the year so then the s the average s was calculated over the year so we observe the value of s and the true value of the solar constant so this is the solar constant this solar constant is determined by in every day over the year so that the way 
the average solar constant is calculated is calculated so that is the here s equals to s not tau upon secant z secant z here s not is the true value of the solar constant true value of the here s not is the true value of the constant here s is the experimental uh, solar constant experimentally determine the solar constant here tau is the coefficient of coefficient of transmission coefficient of transmission here z is the zenith distance zenith distance this is the zenith distance angular distance this is the angular distance uh, between uh, sun and uh, surface of the earth so so this is the relation between true value of the solar constant experimentally solar constant so experimentally solar constant is equals to true value of, true value of the solar constant s not into tau power secant z so here tau is the coefficient of transmission z is the zenith distance so the log applies on both sides so this is the log s is equals to log s not tau power secant z power secant z so this equation can be written as log s is equals to log s not plus log tau power secant z so this equation can be written as this equation can be written as log s is equals to log s not plus secant z log tau this is the solar constant this is the solar constant from the experimental data the graph is drawn with the secant z on x axis uh, and uh, log s on the y axis the straight line is by increase this is the solar constant log s equals to log s not plus secant z log tau here s is the experimentally solar constant this is the true value of the solar constant here z is the zenith distance tau is the coefficient of transmission now we draw the graph uh, the relation between uh, secant z and uh, log s secant z is on the x axis log s on the y axis so this is the secant z this is the log s so we draw the graph we draw the graph the graph value is the straight line the straight line is the increase the straight line is the increasing on the top, bottom to top this is the uh, solar constant